What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2019-20 Panini Mosaic Cello 2-box uh, figure team numbers 2 sold out, which I believe actually should be number 3. But, um... Yeah, I think we did 2 yesterday, so this might have been... This actually should be number 3, guys, but we'll just leave it as 2, and we'll skip number 3 and upload it to number 4. But this break sold out today, guys, so... I appreciate it. So what were you going to do, guys? If you buy two or more teams, you have a chance to win the Pelicans. Uh, so buy two teams, get one entry into the giveaway. Buy four teams, you get two entries. You buy three teams, or sorry, six teams, you get three entries. And then we'll randomize the customer names. And then um, <clears throat> number one gets the Pelicans. So here you go. So let's alphabetize this really quick. And I believe James got Lost Ball Mojo. Give me one quick second. I just want to make sure that does say two for you guys. Yeah. All right. Coolio. So let's see. Brian, or sorry if I with Ben, gets two. So that's one entry. Brian went two. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's three entries. The baseball mix, yes, it will get done tonight for sure, man. We'll definitely do that. James with two and last spot mojo, so let's give you that little extra mojo. You got an entry. Jeff with two. And then Journey with one, two, three, four, five. So we can only give you two entries. Matt with two. Nick with two. Oliver with two. Russell with two. Oh. And Ryan and Soman each got two. So there you go. There you go. Now let's roll the dice and five and a one, six times. Remember, number one gets the Pelicans. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Boom. Brian Crouch. There you go. Congratulations. You played the odds game. You got a handful of teams. There you go. Very nice. <clears throat> There's your free spot right there. All right, guys.
Alright guys, who you guys have? Game one. Braves or Dodgers? I feel like a lot of people are leaning over towards the Braves. So I, I don't mind Acuna going up. I don't care how many home runs, RBIs he gets. Better for me now that I have some, some nice rookies that I found of himself were first cards, but as long as the Dodgers win, it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, in Texas for sure, right? Two different fields. And yeah, the pitching is pretty strong. And they look, showing Walker Buehler's blister looks very nasty. Yeah, I feel like more Dodgers fans are more stressed with the Padres. Like, I also just think that probably being a, like a real Dodgers fan, you just did not want to lose to the Padres. So I feel like that was more stressful. You kind of just felt that, you know, the Padres could do some damage. It could be their kind of year. And, you know, Tatis and this and that. So I just feel like as a Dodgers fan, you're probably just like, no. Like, we can't lose to the Padres. Not this year. Like, because I had... I mean, think about it. If Dodgers would have lost to the Padres, you know how much heat the Dodgers would have been taking, especially fans. <laughs> but, yes, I think the Padres are, will be just fine for the next few years. You know what I mean? I, I had some buddies of mine that were legit just like, no, 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 like, this can't happen, like, this can't happen. It's like, dude, relax, like, you know? But I think that's what it really was. It's like you're here every year, and the Padres are going to come in and beat you guys. You're just like, what? But yeah, I, I honestly think the Padres will be pretty scared for the next year. So this is, you know, probably the best opportunity for the Dodgers Just to get there first and get over that hump and finally win that World Series they've been chasing for the last four years. I actually seen uh, I hadn't seen Moneyball like in so long, but I seen it on Saturday night. I forgot how good that movie was. <laughs> nah, it was pretty good. I I hadn't seen it since like it first came out and it was it was on like HBO or one of the channels that I have. I was like, oh money ball, huh? It's pretty good.
those scouts over there taking it all personal. <laughs> I guess that's how scouts would feel, right? We've been doing this for 40 years already. Tyler the Hero. Colin Sexton. Bull Bull. Little Will to Win, Russell Westbrook. Dwight Howard. Lucas Amanich. Kendrick Nunn. And Terrence Mann, Prism Silver. All the Fame Oscar Robinson. Joe Engels. And a NBA debut, Jared Culver Green. John Moran, NBA debut. Will Barton, Kyle Guy. LeBron James, Jam Masters, Prism Silver. Zach Collins. CJ McCollum, RJ Barrett, Josh Hart, little John Morant base. Oh, I put it back over here. I had just wrote a note on there. I mean, if you want to do it, you can still do it. Talon Horn Tucker, RJ Barrett. Will Chamberlain. Brandon Clark, Josh Okoji, Kelvin Johnson, LeBron Base, LeBron Inserts, Holmes, Darius Garland. Did I pass a Luca? What did I pass? An insert or a base? Oh, I guess it was a base. Oh, it's all good, Oliver. I think we would ship it anyways, but you got it, man. No worries. Anything Luca second and LeBron and Kobe and all that stuff would always ship. Damn, Dustin May. He hasn't been around that much, right? <laughs> I know, right, Oliver? Gotta start charging more, man. We use a lot of top loaders. That's why we, can, that's why we can't sell these anymore. Gotta have them for you guys. Jordan Hope, what's going on, man? How you been, man? Got them cracking season tickets already, brother? Alright, next box. Drew Holiday, James Harden, Murray, Luca inserts, Admiral Schofield, Anthony Davis, Jay Crowder, looks like there's a little ding here on the corner, Culver, Goran Dragic. P.J. Washington Jr. and a Tyler Hero Silver. Very, very nice. So men with the prism with the true silver. 
Jackson Hayes. Man, this is like... That's how many pre-orders there were, Jordan? Damn. Seattle been waiting for some professional hockey, right? Well, I mean, I know... I mean, NHL hockey, I just said, because I know they have some smaller leagues there. Hopefully, man. I mean, well... Good thing is you can always buy tickets to go to the games whenever you have a chance to. But I, I, I feel you, though. You want to get those season tickets so that way you get the perks, the priority, and all that stuff. $50,000? Oh, Jesus. Well, then 6000 doesn't seem too bad. But then you got to think about it. If there's 4,000 people that want tickets, and they're going to get between, what, maybe two to four? That's already getting to potentially 8,000 to up to potentially maybe, you know, 12,000 seats, right? So it's like, depending on how many of those people actually want more than two will make a big difference, right? How big is the arena? Probably holds at least fifteen to 18,000, right? I think you'll get in there. Barry Parker, God Game Luca, Darius Basley, PJ Washington Jr., Kawhi Leonard, Prism Silver, Willie Pauly Stein Silver. Oh, Genesis. No way. Look at that. What a break for the Heat. Tyler Hero, NBA debut Genesis. Wow. Would have been much better if they would have won the championship, but. I think he's going to be a stud for years to come. Look at that. Chris Weber. Charles Barkley. Jordan Poole. Nice. 17,000 arena is pretty good. It's a good size right there. Standing room probably makes it to like 800 or 18,000, sorry. Donovan Mitchell. Oh my god. Well, I, then those people are in it to resale, Jordan. I know you're in it just to watch some games. Those people are just going to resell it then. Well, I guess it's not a bad business, right? True. Probably renting out suites and seats. That's true. I remember um, a good buddy of mine I actually sell cards for. Uh, he's also my sister's uh, boss. He's an account. He rips a ton of stuff, but he also has like Dodgers season tickets and he has, he used to have a seat at Staples Center, which I didn't even know they had stuff like that. But you would own your own seat, right? Like in a suite or anything like that. And you get access to all uh, all things at Staples Center, so you'd get access to Dodger, I mean, uh, to Laker games, Clipper games, Kings games, uh, Sparks games, even some concerts. I'm like, what the hell? I was like, this is this even exists? Like, this is awesome. But he only had it for a couple of years. He used to use it, of course, to like give away to clients and stuff like that, and then resell too. But it's pretty cool. I was like, man, I didn't even know you could do that. I know In N Out owns a, a suite in Staples Center. Or not owns it, but pretty much there. That they treat their employees and people to. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. No, you're good, Jordan. I mean, like I said, if you do miss out, look at it this way saved a little bit right i'm sure it was gonna be pretty expensive for the whole season so now you can kind of maybe splurge on a couple games when you go and get yourself some really good seats you know and and enjoy those couple games you go to i i know the good thing about obviously being a season ticket holder is the perks of playoffs if that was the case because 
When my sister was a playoff season ticket, a playoff ticket holder for the Kings for a couple of years, the year they went to the Stanley Cup Finals in 2014, she had priority, right? So she was. We, we signed on the 300s level. It was a lot cheaper, and I honestly think the more passionate fans are up above. But um, she was able to get Stanley Cup Finals tickets for a hundred dollars. That's what was per seat, and she ended up going and taking my brother. She only had two seats, but she could have easily flipped those for like over a thousand. I remember she said, man, I could flip these for like a thousand bucks like and pays for like my whole season. But she decided to obviously go because she wasn't in it to flip it. Boya, Curry MVP, PJ Washington Jr., Tron Waters, Nicholas Claxton, Shaquille O'Neal, Dylan Windler, Kobe White, KD, Darius Basley, Talon Horn Tucker, Jared Culver, Jordan Poole, Darius Garland, Jared Culver, Luca, DeAndre Hunter, and a Tyler Hero Pink. What a break! There you go. So these will all be pensy for you guys. Do not worry. Uh, but this was break number two. Should have been number three, but this is break number two today on Monday. So I'll upload the next one, and hopefully we can skip it to number four if Nick hasn't done it already. So people don't get a little too confused. But I uh, appreciate it, guys. Jaspies, casebreaks.com.